Hello my loves, welcome to the bonus Mercury Retrograde All Signs Tarot Reading. If you found this, this is for you. It's a tarot reading, just doing a checkup on what's coming at us this Mercury Retrograde, okay? Mercury goes retrograde on May 10th until June 3rd in the sign of Gemini. And actually, this is a good thing, okay, <laughs> for retrogrades anyway. Um... Mercury is Gemini's like home planet, so it's very comfy there, okay? So if we're gonna have a uh, retrograde, Gemini is where we would want it to be, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a time to reevaluate things, right? Um, expect delays in communication, right? In travel, and um, not just like communication, like for uh, talking, you know, with people to try and get your words across. Oh man. <laughs> But also, like, be careful of what you post, be careful of what you say, um, that these things don't come back to haunt you. Um, speaking of things coming back to haunt you, exes reaching out, very popular. <laughs> um, yeah, don't sign any contracts, just try to remain lighthearted. That's, like, the biggest thing here, okay, is being really flexible. Um, because if we anticipate that there's going to be some bumps going on, then what can really go wrong, right? Right. <laughs> Um, I took a nap, so my hair is a mess, but it's fine. It's not why we're here. We're here to find out about you. So let's take a look at what's going on. Cool. Great. Judgment and the magician. So this is absolutely about what you make about it this time. Okay. Things. Judgment is the card of second chances. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot to reevaluate and decide. Is this something that we want? Possibly dealing with imposter syndrome, okay, or balancing out something with a divine masculine, whether that's someone you're dealing with or your own masculine energy. Let's see for the collective, please. As always, guys, um, like, comment down below. I appreciate your feedback so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing, all that good stuff. Oh, we're heading in the wrong way. How come? Because we're focused on love. Okay. Oh, and as I say that, I'm trying to move a deck. And it's the two of cups in the reverse that comes out. Of course. The three of pentacles underneath that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Three of cups as the shadow card. There is a very, very deep connection that means a lot to us. Okay? Like a lot, a lot. Um, it's rare. We feel seen, heard. If this isn't something that we're currently experiencing in our life, it's what we're longing for. It's what we're looking for. It could be what we're very, very focused on. So let's see what's going on because, yeah, I see you guys walking away from something. Not walk, running, charging away. It's the Knight of Swords in the reverse. And the challenge is the Six of Pentacles. So it's like, how much do I give? How much do I take from this, right? Um, for some of you, this could be breadcrumbing, like realizing you're being breadcrumbed. So let's see. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. That might be exactly why you're leaving. You're like, yeah, I need more than this. Like your effort sometimes is very nice, but I need a consistent thing. You feel like you're not always seen, heard, valued. The justice card just came out. Libra energy here. And the nine of pentacles. That is an independent energy. You may be leaving a job, a relationship, something you were invested in for a very long time. But this is the thing, you just want to go towards like what is flowing, what's easy. You don't want to have to fight or restrict. And this came up in like the recent All Signs reading that I did. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Four of Cups and the Page of Wands in the reverse. We've been unsatisfied with the effort or the energetic giving back for a long time. So if this isn't love, right, it's career. Like we feel like we've uh, not been making enough money or not been recognized for our efforts for a long time. If this is love, it's like, we feel like we've been trying this relationship for a long time and nothing's changing. It's that type of a vibe, right? The Four of Cups is like, I am displeased. Oh yeah. 
that is definitely a breadcrumbing energy. I'm so glad that I picked up on it right away because I don't always read it that way. Yep, we have been walking a fine line for a long time. We didn't want to look at this. We didn't want to see it. Mercury retrograde is going to make it very, very loud. We need to go in a different direction. Our focus, again, remember that spiritual bond I was talking about, what we long for? Our focus is the two of cups, okay? So yes, a soulmate connection, your divine purpose, something very, very, very fulfilling, or it should be. Let's see what's going on behind that. Threes are going to be very popular, you guys, during this time. If you notice 333, three, three, I'm not even 100% sure what that means in the spiritual realm, but I see it all over your spread. The magician is in the reverse here. Oh, shit. We feel like we're never going to be capable of having what it is we long for. Even if we have the two of cups in our life, we feel like the bond should be deeper. We feel like it sh should be. That's the key word. It should be. Should be something else. Should be. Should be. There's that three of pentacles. And huh, the seven of pentacles is right behind it. If somebody's saying they're, they're, they want the same thing or they understand us, but I think it's bullshit. Or we're saying that this is very satisfying, but we're lying to ourselves. Same energy. Look at that. Ten of cups in the reverse. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. Look at that. With the magician in the reverse, spirit is saying we have given this enough time, enough energy. That's why our challenge is the six of pentacles. We've given a lot. Okay? Again, whether that's financially, energetically, with our heart space. We were very, very patient. Some of you, like, it's more than months. It's years with the seven of pentacles. Okay? Like, the situation hasn't changed. And look, it's the ace of cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck as a shadow card we feel like our own cup is spilled over we're burnt out we haven't invested in ourselves this is very much back burner energy putting ourselves second okay in the past there was passion which is probably why we did that yeah we had a uh, theme like everything was so clear ace of swords two of pentacles and the hangman oh wow this is either sexual or creative energy, but it completely changed us. We saw life differently. <laughs> the Ace of Swords is like clarity. I have a breakthrough with that hangman. And we were trying to adapt to looking at life differently. Like life can be exciting. This is somebody who like was viewing life from the eyes of rose colored glasses. They were excited about what they were doing or who they were seeing, whatever it is. Um, the excitement was great and was a beautiful energy, but Spirit is saying it was for the wrong reasons. It was still for something or someone outside of ourselves. Um, our strength position is that we're not waiting around. So we recognize, right, that we were walking a thin line for a long time and that we didn't want to do anything. But clearly a decision has been made or one's being made. <coughs> Excuse me. Because, yeah, three of wands in the reverse for our strength position. I'm not waiting on anyone else. I realize that I've given too much for this. Knight of wands in the reverse. I'm swallowing my pride here. This isn't what I want, right? But I know what I have to do. Oh, shit. Two of wands in the reverse. My life can't look like this. Like, back to the drawing board type of a thing. Oh, wow. Four of pentacles. I need to do what's best for me. I need to hold back. I'm not giving to this. I'm not... It's, oh my God, it's not even like, I'm not giving to this. It's like, I'm not even hopeful about this. I don't even consider this an option of a path, as a pathway for me anymore. Door slam, hard. Um, and that sucks and that hurts, right? And we see that going forward with the three of swords. When we walk away, oh, there's something in the energy where... I don't know what reading I said this in, really, at what point does it matter, right? It's just what's in the energy right now. There is an energy where it's like, we held on to something for a very long time. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Because there wasn't really anything else going on. It was very uncomfortable to be still, alone, with our own thoughts. Um, looking at the reality, it's almost like the heartbreak 
while it was painful and it wasn't fun, we still held on to it because it's like, it was all we knew. That was still our comfort zone. So it's like now when we're really releasing it, truly energetically releasing something. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of uncomfortableness. Because again, even if it was painful and it ended shitty or we lost our passion for it or it burnt out, whatever that was, there was still something very divinely sacred about it. And it was the closest thing that we had ever known to love or connecting or being seen and valued, right? And so it meant a lot to us. Even if our souls are like, we want more. Mm, yeah, Queen of Wands in the reverse. This sucks. This really sucks. We do not like it. Seven of Wands in the reverse and the Queen of Swords. We're doing the right thing, but I think that we're really in the it sucks phase and we're not realizing um, why this had to happen, what the lesson is. It just, it's very raw right now. Queen of Pentacles. Why the Seven of Wands in reverse, though? I feel like you're still not putting yourself first. You may just be coming off very cold. There's a difference between, like, I'm speaking up for myself and I'm using my voice versus I'm just detached and a hurt, cold, angry person, you know? With very low self-esteem. The Queen of Wands in the reverse, they're not good. It's like, I really low self-esteem. Maybe this is you? Oh, you know what? This may be you speaking about how much pain you actually have in your heart for like the first time. That's why it's so intense. I think this is what you've buried. You may be willing to share how... Oh. Like, we feel like a broken child in the world, you know? Like, we don't know what to do. We don't know how to act. We don't know how to deal with emotions, you know? And um, there's something very panicky about that in the energy. Let's look at your advice. Remember, I was talking about the Seven of Pentacles quite a lot with all this time. Spirit wants you to now devote that time to yourself, okay? Let's set new roots, right? So what's our routine going to look like? What are our goals? What are we working towards? We can't just operate in this pain energy, okay? It's time to heal. Yep. And it cannot be goals about being with other people or doing things for other people. It cannot be about, I just want to be with this person. Like, no. Like, you have to be selfish during Mercury retrograde, okay? You have to do what's best for you. You have to also, there's a message here about accepting you're not going to get the apology that you do deserve, right? Like, you have to figure out how to move on without that. Yes, I'd even look down and see that King of Swords in the reverse. Someone may not be willing to fix or apologize, and that really does mean shutting the door on this once and for all. Temperance. Yeah, go with the flow here. Go with alignment, okay? Also, your advice is to be very patient while you try to figure out what alignment means for you. Chances are, if you knew that, we wouldn't be looking at all this, right? You would just be going and doing that. So be okay with it taking some time. Be okay with not knowing how to do everything. Be okay with not knowing where you're supposed to go from here. All will be revealed, okay? And what you don't see coming, it's the moon in the reverse. So... The confusion you feel, there's going to be a light shown upon that. The lovers in the reverse. Oh, yeah, I'd say so. Eight of swords in the reverse and the page of swords in the reverse. First of all, protect your friggin' energy, okay? Checking up on this person online, right? Energetically spying, trying to communicate, still trying to understand why did this happen. Um from a place of wounding, of fear, of ego, of pride, is not going to benefit you. The second you're able to shift your perspective to, how did I go against my own soul? Realizing that something doesn't even interest you anymore, right? So again, I'm going to use 
this does come out like a relationship it really does right where like it kind of fizzled out or the bond was lost and it's like you're holding on to that again out of comfort right or it's been a long time okay but realizing actually when you stop considering them and stop focusing on what they're doing it doesn't even resonate with you anymore it's not even something that you feel compelled to go by this is yeah this is like i'm not chasing it's also going to be revealed something about you're going to discover something very deep about yourself with this lovers in the reverse and that's gemini energy by the way i want to go a little bit deeper on that and just see because it's like i've been living a lie that's almost kind of what it mm -hmm. there's a lot of pressure there was a lot of pressure you put on yourself to be this person's person you know like you thought you had to be someone else or act a certain way and now now you're free seven of swords in the reverse go look up the meanings this is the card that i preach about where i'm like take your mask off you're wearing a mask uh it's known as like the card of like a thief trying to get away with something snake in the grass yeah you don't have to be anyone else but who you are and spirit is saying you're actually going to understand that that's not going to be just something that's like an affirmation that you repeat like a parrot you're going to understand and understand right a message from your soul yeah i'm going to keep using these uh queen of cups in the reverse your soul wants you to understand that you've held on for too long heavy codependency energy here things are changing you've given again we saw that in the challenge you, and this is a pattern, not just in this relationship or this situation. Throughout your life, you give too much. And it drains you. When the Queen of Cups is in her natural state, when she's balanced, okay, it's effortless to give because we're so full, right? We're missing that ingredient of being full. We just want to jump to the part where we're giving, which is a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful energy. But this Mercury retrograde, no, no, no. We're going to really have to set back here. We cannot live for others anymore, okay? Um, things are changing. You're learning that. The rejection, the breakup, closing your heart, I don't know. Something about you're moving into your own independence and you're learning how to do that. And your potential outcome is the five of wands in the reverse. So it is forgiveness. It is letting go of... Whatever conflict happened that set you into this, um, rising above, right? Could be letting go of drama. Oh, shit. Pisces energy with that uh, high priestess card. Yeah, you may not be talking to somebody, but you are letting it go. You realize that you've lost yourself again and again. And this, again, this doesn't have to be love. This can be a best friend for years and years. That it's like, this has been my best friend since first grade. I don't want to cut them out of my life you know but maybe your best friend since first grade is a freaking narcissist i mean take it how it resonates right you, but you are doing what's best for you it has to do with inner peace yeah you've sacrificed a new start a new way of living many 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 times waiting for this person's love waiting for this person's offer of saying i i'm finally ready right <laughs> Take this as confirmation from spirit. It's not coming and it was never coming. And it wasn't up to you to fix it or get this person to be ready. Two of cups in the reverse. The fool in the reverse and the page of cups in the reverse. This is a hurt person that's not capable of offering that right now. So as I say this and what I'm about to say, I look down at see justice and I'm like, yeah, exactly. Um, this is energy from your person. Yes, they couldn't offer it to you. But this is also your energy, dear. Very, very, very much so. And it needs to be healed. Okay? Because your own cup, it shows it right here in your soul. The Ace of Cups. Okay? One of these two cups right here, it's upside down. It's leaking. What kind of gift is that to give your person, your soulmate? Your person, your soulmate deserves the best version of you. Okay, there is a lot of heavy, heavy, heaviness before that divine union could come. Okay, um, this three of cups energy is about building it with your intuition and your soul. 
knowing you've got your own back, that you can trust yourself, that you're worthy of a true connection, right? It's like the connection you have with your soul is going to be what manifests as your soulmate. So make sure it's fucking pristine, you know? Any last words, spirits? Let's close this out with some advice from the divine. I see you. That strength card. That's right. I also see the magician popping out here. You can create anything you want. Okay, you can manifest the exact life that you want, but you have to believe you're worthy. You cannot make decisions or manifestations from an emotional area, right? Like an emotional reaction. Um, be aware of how you feel. Okay, the triggers are the guides, but it's just for information. Okay, you don't have to be a prisoner to your emotions anymore. And Mercury Retrograde is going to test you. 100%. It's going to be bumpy. And Spirit's saying it's 110% what you make of it. Okay? And again, remember, it's in the sign of Gemini. It's home ruler. So this is going to be like one of the lighter of the Mercury Retrogrades, right? So we should be able to really create something beautiful from this. Anything else? An area of focus, perhaps. <laughs> Your overall happiness, deciding what it is that will truly fulfill you. I don't know how many readings I can do and say that. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, it's about perspective right now. We still have our mind like it's a connection outside of ourselves that's going to be fulfilling. And it's like it's the connection with your own soul. Because the world is going to be a mirror. Okay? Everything will be reflected. Um as the relationship that you have with yourself okay there it is king of pentacles yes 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 worry about your overall stability okay king of pentacles is very 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 grounded very stable right takes no shit okay um very generous as well helps others but very protective of everything that he has his empire what he's built Gender not specific, okay? You can manifest your own empire, but you have to be willing to protect it, okay? So that's what I see. I hope that this was helpful and gives a little bit more clarity on what the next three to four weeks are going to be. Um, I'll do an updated video, like a little report card when we get into the shadow phase. So keep an eye out for that around the first week of June. I'm also working on your June readings. So that'll be out like the last week of May. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day, and remember to be kind, and like my video, and yeah, you're great. Okay, bye. <laughs>